Okay, as part of our look at uh, indifference curve analysis, we're going to consider for a couple of minutes the effect of an increase in income for the demand for normal goods. Let's take uh, two examples of products which are widely assumed to have a positive income or system demand. Let's say fine chocolates or fine cheeses or some kind of aperitif. So these products normally have a strong uh, correlation, positive relationship with income. As income goes up, people typically buy more, not necessarily a lot more, but they may choose to be able to afford more. So how do we use indifference curve analysis to show the effect of a rise in income if we assume both products are normal goods? Here's our initial equilibrium where the tangency point between IC1 and indifference curve 1 and budget line 1 is with consumers buying C quantity of chocolates and A quantity of cheese. Then we assume that income goes up. We're holding the price of chocolates and cheese constant. So there's no change in the gradient of the budget line. It shifts out in a parallel fashion from BL1 to BL2. And this allows the consumer to move on to a higher indifference curve. Uh, IC1, of course, is preferred to IC1. It gives a higher total satisfaction. And the equilibrium tangency point there is here, and that allows the consumer to purchase D quantity of chocolates and B quantity of cheese. In our example here, they're buying more of both products when their income goes up. So that tells us that both of these products are normal goods. And we can translate this indifference curve analysis into the demand curve. Let's take the demand curve for cheese. Uh, isolate that and we, we held the price of cheese constant uh, but as a result of the increase in income uh, consumers are now buying a greater quantity at the equilibrium point and therefore we can assume that the demand curve for cheese has shifted out due to an increase in income of course the higher is the income elasticity of demand the greater will be that shift in the position of the demand curve we can show a similar thing for chocolates as well, but uh, I won't do on this occasion. So there we go. Indifference curves, uh, rising incomes, where both products are normal. Thanks a lot.